Hi guys, and welcome to Next Level Toys. We hope you like Star Wars, because today is Star Wars. We have all eight of the character cards. I'm not going to lie, this set was pretty pricey. It cost us $40, but it's well worth it because I collect this kind of stuff. Sadly, I will not be opening them. You can see how Disney is on the cards, because Disney took over Star Wars a while back. Let's start off with Yoda here. Got a tiny little car with him in it. It's mostly metal. It's a little heavy, but it's a tiny little car. You can see him peeping over the headlights there. Let us know which one your favorite is. Uh, here is Luke Skywalker, the Jedi. It's a fairly simple looking car. Metal bottom. And the green is plastic. And apparently, I think the black is metal too. It feels fairly heavy. Uh, these should be all metal with the price because they're upper with the real riders. But got a nice little artwork on each card of the character. I'm going to go to my favorite one Chewie Baka. Chewie is my favorite of Star Wars since I was a kid. He still is today, and he's in the biggest casting of this set from the looks of it. Big Super Swampers. You can see his face there, the front of it. It looks like Chewie. This is what Chewie looked like if he was an automobile. <laughs> the Mandarin, or whatever you want to call him. Yeah, there he is. Whatever he is. He's not one of my favorites, but the car... It's pretty cool. It looks like it's Zymac. It's got that nice silver paint. If you found this in circulation, you're probably wondering what the heck it is. Because it definitely don't even look Star Wars related, but it's still pretty sweet. Of the cars, I think that's probably my favorite in terms of the casting anyway. Here's Darth Vader. Who doesn't like Darth Vader? The car, though. Uh... Well, I just don't know. I mean, it's not really got much going for it. What do y'all think? Metal and plastic. It just uh, it kind of looks like his helmet, I guess. If you look at it right, at the right angle. <laughs> How about Boba Fett? He's pretty cool. Uh, I wish I had that action figure where it had a flaw. Where they uh, originally first made him and it didn't have that spring. Very few is only produced and they're worth a lot of money. I do have the Bubba Fat action figure, but it's just the original basic one. They are collectible too, obviously, from the early 80s. But yeah, this is the car of Bubba Fat. Han Solo, uh, he's my second favorite. And uh, this is my favorite car of the set, mainly because it has red line tires on it it actually looks like a car and a cool looking car at that it's convertible you can see the engine i like the paint scheme and it matches han solo so very nice job on that car oh katen is the final one it's another off-road looking vehicle you can check out the artwork here Got nice blue and tan paint. We apologize for not opening these. I don't feel like buying another whole set to open because they're just so expensive. I like collecting them and not opening them. But when I find doubles, that's when I try to open these sets. Maybe in the future we might try to be able to do that. But I like keeping them on the card. Everybody has their own way, but that's how I am. So please let us know which one your favorite is until... Then we will see y'all next time. Goodbye.